Okay, I'm going to go over secondary dominance. A secondary dominant is a dominant chord that is the dominant of some other chord besides the tonic. I'm going to do an example here and you can see how it works. So the first thing I do is look at the key signature and I see it's one sharp. So one sharp can be either G major or E minor. Now I look down here and I see there's a four chord. The four chord in this example is minor. Only in a minor key is the four chord minor. Therefore, the key must be E minor. So now I can go ahead and locate uh, the four chord in E minor. With secondary dominance, it's, it's much easier to do the second chord first and then work your back, way back. So I'm going to do the four chord first. So, one, two, three, four. So the four chord in E minor is an A minor chord. And the figured bass, or lack of it, right here tells me that that's in root position. Okay, now I'm going to do the dominant of that chord. So the dominant of A is E. So I'm going to have some sort of an E chord, and the 6 tells me that it's going to be in first inversion. So I'm going to do an E chord in first inversion. Now, with a secondary dominant, this chord has to be in the key of this chord. So this chord here has to be in the key of A minor. A mi when you're making chords in a minor key, it's very important to remember that you have to use harmonic minor. In A minor, the raised seventh is the G. So the G becomes a G sharp, and that makes the five chord major. So I'm going to add a sharp to the G. Very important to remember, when you're making chords in a minor key, you have to use harmonic minor. There you have it. There's the the secondary dominant. This is the 5, 6 of the 4 chord, followed by the 4 chord in the key of E minor. I hope that helps.